can we talk about the outfit? I got my hair all nice. I got on my little like turtleneck, jeans. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Look, look how cute this is. I am so Valentine's Day ready. Today is February 13th, which first off marks one month of me living in my new apartment, which is super cool. Like I said when I moved in, I'm only here for a couple of months for school till the end of April, but it's crazy I've lived here a month already and I am adoring it. But as for the reason for today's video, it is February 13th, which means tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I work all day tomorrow, so we can't do anything, but I still wanted to take myself out on a little Valentine's Day date. Um, obviously, as we all know, I am single AF as per usual, but I wanted to take myself out on a little date to the bookstore, fill up my TBR shelf um, because it's getting a little low, dress up, um, bring you all along, and just have a fun little Sunday at the bookstore and Walmart. We also need to go to Walmart just to pick up life things, but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, so I'm obsessed with my outfit today. Um, I decided to get all dressed up for myself because why not? Except this hair, I don't, it, I don't know what it's trying to do. We're gonna pretend it's not doing whatever it's, whatever it's doing. If you have bangs, do you ever just do like the Justin Bieber like hair flick? Like, you know, the one he used to do when he was like 13? Like, just do this? Yeah, I do that all the time. I'll show you my outfit and tell you where it's from. I'm just obsessed. Um, first off, I have on my MAC lipstick. I haven't worn lipstick in so long. My favorite shade ever is Twig from MAC. Um, I love it and I just put a clear gloss on top and I put my hair, I did like the crimpy thing I normally do and then I just put it in little little pigtails to add a little something something to it. And then my shirt here is from Urban Planet and I got it a while ago. It's just like a really thin sweater material. Um, it has like a turtleneck and then obviously it's cropped but it's super red and white and I just thought absolutely perfect. And then my jeans are the American Eagle Mom straight leg jeans, um, the ones without the rips in them these are like my favorite pair of jeans i did order a second pair i know i said i wasn't going to spend money on clothes this month but um i ordered a second pair of jeans because these are like the only jeans i have right now without rips in them and i feel like it's kind of important to have jeans without rips in them because my other pair of jeans is just like ripped to the max so i got a pair in black um of just like regular american eagle mom jeans i was kind of hoping they'd come in for today but they haven't yet so we're wearing these ones and i'm super excited i do have some other things to do this morning before we go to the bookstore the bookstore doesn't open till 11 because it is sunday um and it's only 9 30 right now so we got time and uh i gotta do those things and then we're gonna head out. Oh, cause we are talking books though, I will talk what I have been currently reading. I read The Testaments um, by Margaret Atwood. I thought it was really good. Um, just be aware there are a lot of trigger warnings in here. So if you are going to read it, it's the follow-up book to The Handmaid's Tale. So definitely read The Handmaid's Tale first, um, but also look up the trigger warnings because there are quite a few. The book itself was a little choppy. I liked The Handmaid's Tale better, but still a really good read. I got The Nest from the library here at my college so I didn't actually purchase it which is good because I was not a huge fan um, although I did like the writer's writing style the actual plot of the book I found kind of boring and um, just dragged on a little bit like I couldn't wait to finish this book um, just because I wanted to get it over and done with so I gave it a three and a half stars I'm starting to lean more towards the three end of it um, but it was okay and then last night I started weather girl and I'm already a good chunk into it and this one is a super simple easy just kind of fun read so far I'm really enjoying it and then the only book I have left on my TBR that I have not read is reminders of him by Colleen Hoover I've never read a Colleen Hoover 
for a book before but I heard good things and I got this one when it was 50% off um, on Amazon so I got it for only like $11 or something 11 Canadian dollars books are so much more expensive in Canadian dollars than American dollars so um, yeah I got this one and I'll be reading this one next and then whatever we buy today I was gonna wear oh I need to like water this down or something what is happening um I was gonna wear my black booties like my little combat heel combat boots but I wore those the other day for a really long time and I was walking around a lot and accidentally gave myself a blister so we're not doing that but instead I got on my pink filas um which are half a size too small but it's fine so it's all Valentine's Day y and they match and they're a lot easier to walk around in. And they, my toes are a little cramped, but they're not gonna give me blisters. So that's all that matters. I thought I might be able to get away without a coat. No. Oh my god, it's so cold out here today. It's like the bitter cold. Oh my gosh. I put my black jacket over top. Um like it's like a thick leather jacket, so it'll be fine, especially if I'm just going like into the bookstore, I'll try to park close. Um I never do this jacket up because I just I you know, don't like the way it looks right up. So I leave it open and then instead of a purse today, I'm bringing my bag. It says designers, supporting designers. It's like a old graphic design bag I got for free, but I felt like totes are so much more like bookstore-y and then if I buy some, I don't have to buy a bag. These bags always cost money in Canada now. We are just going to the local chapters Indigo. I don't know a lot of like the local bookstores around here. There is a used bookstore I do want to go to eventually, but it's downtown and with all of the, um, and with the like blockade and all the police presence down at the Windsor Ambassador Bridge border right now, if you don't know about that, definitely Google it. Um, I don't want to go too far downtown because it's real sketchy. I don't want to be involved. So, bookstore, Indigo, it's far away, so we're going there. Okay, we're here. And normally I would have loved to go get a coffee or something to walk around the bookstore with, but right now in Canada, we still have to wear masks as we should. Um, nothing against it um but it's hard to drink coffee when you are wearing a mask obviously um so i think i'll get a coffee at the very end of the adventure i want to go to shoppers too but there's a starbucks right here so we'll see how it goes i am going to bring my camera in i'm kind of scared to vlog in public i do have my phone though too so we might switch over if i get scared oh well, there's someone watching me already we'll see how it goes Some of the best like gadgety stuff here too. scared and just vlogged on my phone but hopefully we still got some good footage so I told myself I was allowed to get three books and uh yeah that didn't go so great I got five we're gonna go to Walmart and I'm still gonna check the book section at Walmart even though I checked it here because uh even though I just got five books and then we'll do a haul when I get back there's people staring directly at me it's fine, let's go to Walmart. Um, and I'll show you a haul when I get back to my room and we can talk a little bit about the books because it is freezing in the car today. And we are back. Okay, so I got myself Starbucks. 
Um, I got an iced peach green tea lemonade, which is my absolute favorite, as we know. Um, so delicious, and I just got it after. There was one like right inside Indigo, so. So good. I know I couldn't have it like in the bookstore because masks and stuff, but we are enjoying it now. And then I did go to Walmart and Shoppers Drug Mart, and um, neither Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart really had what I wanted. Walmart was out of stock in everything pretty much and um, the line for the checkout was like crazy long. I almost got a new plant but I decided not to because the line for the checkout was so long and they didn't have anything I actually went for so I decided not to but. And then books wise. Okay so I wasn't going to get this many but I did end up getting a few. Like I said I was only going to get three but I ended up getting five so let's go over them. The first one I got, I mean, I feel like everyone's read this one, um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's super popular right now. Everyone and their mother has read this and recommended it, so I felt like I had to. This was the one I was debating whether or not I was gonna get, to be honest, because it doesn't sound like something I would normally read, um, but everyone is just raving about it, saying it's like the best book ever, so I had to try it. It happened one summer. Um, this, I believe there's like a mini series that these ones are gonna be turning into, so this is the first one here. Um, it's just like a romance novel and um the second one comes out soon i believe so i wanted to read the first one because the second one looks really really good this is a christmas book but i got it because it was on clearance so it was only four dollars um and this is why i'm like five bucks no big deal realistically i only got four this one was literally four dollars and i got ten percent off so it was like three something so no big deal i'm always looking for books around christmas time and um around christmas time books are really expensive christmas books because obviously it's the season so getting it on clearance for only four dollars is perfect even though it's gonna sit on my tbr shelf for a while um still great and the spanish love deception um emma top is the reason i got this i love her book recommendations she's the one who i saw recommend the people who meet on vacation which is like my all-time favorite romance book ever now so when she said she was reading this one i was like i have to pick it up too we're just gonna copy everything emma reads from now on it's so good um everything she's recommended has been so good so i'm hoping this one is no different but we shall see and then finally the only book i 100 percent knew i was getting when i walked in there it's called good girl complex um and thought i would really like i feel like except for the christmas one obviously these are all like kind of summer travel-y really fun almost getting into spring reads which is great because I mean, it's the middle of February, so as soon as we get into March, we start spring, which is great. Part of me really wants to get a Kindle, especially because Kindle Unlimited includes so many books for Amazon Prime members, and it would save me money, but honestly, there's just something about being able to hold the paperback copies and just like look at them and everything. It just makes me so happy and like the, the new book smell. 